Thank you all so much for the incredible support on yesterday's episode. You legends smashed the 800 like target that we set in order to get another episode today. As such, we are back for a brand new My Player Career Mode episode. Hello everyone, what's going on? And welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. I hope you are all feeling fantastic and having an awesome day. We have got a huge match to kickstart today's video. Before we talk about that though, I am going to set another like target today to get yourselves a brand new episode tomorrow. That like target will be 850 likes on today's video to guarantee yourselves another one tomorrow. So yeah, thank you all so much for taking the time to watch one of my videos and thank you for your continued support as always. I mentioned the huge fixture that we have. Well, there it is, Manchester City at Anfield. First versus second, the two teams tipped to be at the top of the Premier League table come the end of the season. The only two sides actually still unbeaten in the Premier League as things stand. Eight games in, we have played eight of those, won five, drawn three. Meanwhile, City have got seven wins and one draw in their eight Premier League matches. So they are ahead of us at the moment, but victory here against them would see us move just a single point behind them in second place. I have gone ahead and changed my hairstyle and my boots as there was a few people leaving me comments asking me to do so. So we have gone ahead and done that and we've got something to do in the way of activities. But as soon as that's done, we are ready to head into the game against City. And with the four skill points that we have available to us, I am going to put these into finishing here and weak foot to unlock our five star weak foot. And that will take us to 88 overall. So yep, yeah, plus one growth there. Advance the days ahead to the City game. We saw us play them in the Community Shield of that. We were playing right wing and we won the game. Now we're playing up front. Bit of a different challenge for us. The two lineups on your screen. We know how good the Manchester City 11 is. Leading the line is Haaland on our side. I am leading the line for Liverpool. Diaz and Salah alongside me, alongside Haaland, it's Foden and Goncalves. Still got to remain confident though. We can win the game. Salah with a run down the right-hand side. There's the ball towards Mohamed Salah. Salah with the ball back to Chiuameni. Now Fabinho, Jones, Diaz. Diaz finds me. We'll play it out wide here for Dest. Dest looking for the ball back inside to Luis Diaz. Given away and City can break. Two sides at their very best. And you'll imagine that this will be quite a hard-fought fixture. We are very much close on the City heels in the league table. A victory will put us just a single point behind them. And that is what Liverpool will be aiming to do today. Here is Salah looking to break away. Salah's ball will get us through here. And there's an early chance. And what has just happened to Manchester City's defence? Well, the answer is they opened up and I should have finished it. What a chance to take the lead. It almost looked like I had too much time. And that sort of made me second-guess my decision. Salah, Chiuameni, Jones, Chiuameni, Edison with a save. Good effort from Chiuameni, denied by a very good goalkeeper and he will be over to take the corner for us, Chiuameni here. What can he do with the delivery? Aims towards that near post. We are up to try and challenge, not once but twice. And we have come away with the ball the second time. Salah trying to open up the space on the edge of the penalty area. Now Diaz, Jones, Fabinho, Diaz. Worked well, but in the end the shot was easy for Edison. Foden, City now then, on the attack here with Phil Foden. Good defending Chiuameni, that's brilliant. And now Diaz can play it forwards. We're there ahead of Ruben Diaz. And we're away from the challenge for the moment. Back to Luis Diaz. Diaz can pick out Chiuameni. Chiuameni can pick out me, can he? He can! And Liverpool lead at Anfield. Half an hour gone. And it's a beautiful footballing move from the home side who have deserved their lead. And the earlier one-on-one -on -one chance against... Edison that we had has now been forgotten by me. Maybe not by the fans because I should bury the chance every single day of the week. But now that we've scored this one, that's a little bit of redemption. I think in the earlier chance, that 1v1 that I had, I was just so shocked to have so much time and space that when I cut it back on the left foot, that space had been quickly closed down by Edison. And uh, I almost got in my own mind about what I was doing and second guessed my choice, but... It's all good now because we've given our side the lead here. Nine goals in nine Premier League matches. City throw. 
Foyth with it. Back to Rodri. Now forward to Pedro Goncalves. Three minutes to go until half-time. Liverpool very much on top, but things can change very quickly in football, especially when you're playing against Manchester City. Foyth, Camavinga now in the area. Back to Pedro Goncalves. Alisson with a save. And Haaland will get to the ball first ahead of Trent Alexander-Arnold. City with a strong finish to this first half. And with a minute added on by the referee, we need to win back this ball and clear it. What a save, Alisson. Offside flag, I think, has just gone up, though. So it would not have counted for Jose Gaia and Manchester City. It'll be Liverpool 1, City 0 at the break. And we can be very happy with the way this first half has gone. You've got to say that for sure. And this is a big second half coming up for us. Foden, left-hand side, second half underway. Phil Foden charging City forwards to the byline. Foden to Haaland! Denied at the near post. Alisson alerts. But that was all too easy for Phil Foden, who made it look so simple in order to get down the line and get to the byline to find Haaland. Cannot be letting that happen too often. Here is Foden again. He really has started the second half off. Very lively, Phil Foden. Goncalves, Camavinga. And it's no mistake this time around from City. Camavinga with a finish. Liverpool 1, City 1. And that was the start to the second half that City had made. Pep's half-time team talk. They came out swinging. And City have their equaliser. Liverpool need to regain composure a little bit. And just ensure we can perform like we were in the first half. Because we were brilliant in that first 45. Fabinho with the ball forward. Diaz over on the left-hand side. That's the pass for Luis Diaz. Who now charges Liverpool forwards into the area. Still Diaz to the byline. Foyth in the way. It will be a corner. Which will be taken by Mohamed Salah. In towards Diaz. Away by Guendouzi. And Salah will get it back. Now finding the pass back for Timber. What a ball through for Diaz! Oh, it's absolutely brilliant from Yuri and Timber. He finds Luis Diaz, who curls home Liverpool second and regains the lead. What a lovely ball, though, from Yuri and Timber. He's been brilliant defensively since joining. Well, how about this? And then the composure from Luis Diaz to pick out the bottom corner. Magical stuff. And City were back in the game for a matter of minutes. Fabinho with the ball forward. Salah touches the ball down to myself. We've taken the touch away from the defender as well. Salah with a run through. That's the pass. Salah cuts it back on the left foot. Ruma Diaz in quickly though for City. And now Haaland can find Foden. Who's got the wrong side of Trent Alexander-Arnold. Foden's ball back into Haaland. Over the top looking for Goncalves. It's a fantastic pick out. Goncalves with the effort. Alisson with a save. Foden keeps it in. Haaland now Camavinga. Now Rodri. Straight in the hands of Alisson. And a fine piece of goalkeeping to deny City an equaliser. Foden down the line for Gaia. Gaia cutting back inside, finding Phil Foden. The goal's seemingly not done yet because City very much still up for this game. As we hold off the challenge of Ruben Diaz and get away from him as well. But the support from Liverpool not arriving just yet. So we hold on to the ball for the meantime. Here is Diaz. Now Jones. Diaz once more. Jones with the ball into my feet. Diaz has given us the move. We instead play Dest. Who's overlapping down the left. Diaz again on the ball. Into the City penalty area. Luis Diaz, what a run! What a run and what a goal! Luis Diaz has surely won it for Liverpool, who have been magnificent here at Anfield. But you look at this performance and you wonder what went wrong against Forest last episode. Because this Liverpool side can take on anybody. We're playing against the best at this current time that England has to offer in City and we are running them ragged at Anfield. Two teams were unbeaten before today. Only one of them will still have their unbeaten run after the 90 minutes and it won't be the team top of the Premier League table. Des has got the chance to play the ball through and he has found the pass. We're there as well. Back post is Rafinha. If I can find him though, it's across the face of goal. Falls back my way so kindly. And Liverpool have their fourth. Anfield is rocking. Anfield is believing. Liverpool are taking the game to Manchester City. Initially, I was looking to find the ball back post for Rafinha. We get so fortunate as the ball ends up bouncing off Gaia, straight back into my path. Might have even touched Rafinha, in fact. And then we're there just to finish it into the near post. What a game, what a performance. And there is full time, my friends. What a game. Liverpool 4, Manchester City 1. And that is the best 
performance we have seen since we've joined Liverpool. What a display it was. And you can see the joy on the faces of the Liverpool players. They know how big a result that could prove to be for this title race. A man of the match performance from Yuri and Timber. He was sensational throughout the entirety of those 90 minutes, as was many of the Liverpool players. And if we take a look at the standings before we play Wolves in the Carabao Cup, we can see that that victory has moved us to 21 points. The only side unbeaten in the Premier League now. Six wins, three draws. Just a single point behind City. West Ham are doing quite well, aren't they? They're on the same points as us as well. So, yeah, it's not just us fighting City. It might be a three-way fight for the Premier League title. We shall see. Arsenal as well with the game in hand. If they win that, they'll go to 20 points. Still very early on in the season. Do bear that in mind. But... I am so, so thrilled with that performance. Right then, cup time. Wolves, Molyneux, round of 16, Carabao Cup. Would really like a trophy as we've only won the Community Shield in our career so far. And this could be a really good chance of getting our hands on our first trophy. There is one change to our starting 11. Royo in at centre-back in place of Gabriel Paulista. Dest down the line for Diaz. Diaz has got myself making a move down the left again. That's the ball from Diaz. What a touch it is as well to get us away from the challenge into the area and having to find the chance, which ends up being blocked. But Salah's on hand at the back post to nod home. You've seen me do that a lot. Hit the shot, hope the goalkeeper palms it back out into an area where someone arrives to find the empty net. The amount of times it hasn't worked, though, I was unsure if it was going to work this time. Fortunately, it has. And that is Liverpool's opening goal of the game. Jones. Diaz, Jones once more, Curtis Jones into the area of Wolves, looking to place it, and Saar makes the save. It's one-way traffic, though, and Wolves are having to pretty much defend here. Half an hour gone, Liverpool looking for goal number two. The corner into the box, away it goes. Jones with the ball back in. Diaz here, can he keep it in play? Well, he has done, he finds me the ball back. It's 2-0 Liverpool. That's that second goal. And for a moment, I wondered if Luis Diaz was going to let the ball run out of play. But he doesn't, keeps it in, and we get our reward for some prolonged pressure. And surely we're heading through to the next round of the Carabao Cup at this stage. Here is Podence, left side, Wolves with a chance before the end of the half. Diving header in, Allison saving, and that will be it for the first 45 minutes. Liverpool in control of the game. Alberto, quick one-two to give me the ball back. Forward to Diaz, Alberto again, many. Challenge on the edge of the penalty area from Wolves. Ravella trying to let the ball run. I almost read it. And uh, he does play the ball forward still. Beto with a nice ball to the feet of Anthony Martial. And with a minute to go, Wolves surely cannot mount a comeback now. Martial left-hand side finding Johnny. Ball into the box. There's Thierry Mans. It will be a goal for Wolves, but it will only be a consolation goal surely. With a minute to play, there is not enough time. Apologies, didn't mean to skip the replay there. Salah's going off and on comes Rafinha. Do not throw this away, Liverpool. This has been a composed, controlled performance and then one goal right at the end and all of a sudden, the scoreline is halved. Other than that, though, we were good here and that is full time. Wolves 1, Liverpool 2. We advance in the Carabao Cup. Here's the draw for the Carabao Cup quarterfinals as we will take on Chelsea. Morecambe will play Spurs. West Ham will play Villa. And Middlesbrough take on Bristol City. A difficult draw for us given the teams that were still in the competition who we could have got. But that's football. And if we want to win it, we will have to beat Chelsea in the next round. And then see who we'll get in the semi-finals. In terms of the Premier League, our next game is against Watford who currently sit bottom of the Premier League. So it should be... A Liverpool victory. City are at home to Bournemouth. And where are West Ham? Who are they playing? West Ham are taking on Chelsea at home. So that's a tough game for them as well. Final game of the episode. Looking to cap it off with a third win from three matches. Another good display here. And we should do exactly that. There's the team. As Beck will start left back instead of Dest. I'm not sure if that's down to an injury or if Beck is just preferred today. We shall see if Dest is on the bench. Five at the back from Watford though. Can sometimes be difficult to break down. Just looked at the two lineups and then the subs bench and Dest is on the bench for Liverpool today. So 
Beck preferred by Jurgen Klopp to start the game at left back. What a touch that was to get away from the defender. Oh, we've hit the bar inside the first couple of minutes. And the ball will not fall the way of Luis Diaz. But that's not a good goalkeeper's throw. Chua many battling away. Jones has it now for Liverpool. We'll find Diaz. Diaz into the area. Liverpool looking for the opening goal of the game. I tried to play Salah. You sense that this will be a similar story to that that we had against Forest, where Watford will sit behind the ball and look to hit Liverpool on the counter. Paulista, Jones. What we need to do is get the goal first that will stop that from happening. Jones into my feet. Diaz continues his run. The pass back towards him wasn't great, but we've held onto the ball somehow here. I don't quite know how. Fabinho, now Jones, Diaz. It's a brilliant little back heel. Luis Diaz will get the goal. That's what we were talking about. Now it means Watford's job of sitting behind the ball and catching Liverpool on the counter becomes even harder. 15 minutes gone. And we spent most of those 15 minutes in and around Watford's penalty area. You can kind of see from the early stages of this one why they're bottom. Number of mistakes made when they're trying to get the ball out of their defensive third. And defensively, not that great either. And Luis Diaz gets his sixth of the Premier League season. 25 minutes gone. Watford on the attack. Chuameni back brilliantly though. Goal elsewhere. City behind against Bournemouth. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Manchester City nil, Bournemouth one. Meanwhile, Liverpool on the attack, looking for goal number two themselves. Salah into the area. Mo Salah goes for goal into the side netting. But as things stand, Liverpool are going top of the Premier League if the results stay as they are. Chuameni with a corner. And will this be the moment for Liverpool's second? Chuameni towards that near post. We get there. I've hit the post now. So, so far, I've hit the bar and the post. Chuameni with the ball back into my feet. Fabinho will pick up the ball here after a challenge. Pollock only finds me. Watford still causing themselves problems. Fabinho shots blocked. There has been another goal at the Etihad and that has gone the way of Manchester City. So the score there, 1-1 between City and Bournemouth. But even at that, Liverpool are still heading top of the Premier League. So if that can stay as it is, we'll still be very happy with it. Salah. Has done well to get the ball towards me. He's just get back on the left foot. Can't hit the shot yet, though. We'll play Diaz. Salah across. Chiuameni trying to place it. Okoye with a good save. He saw the shot late from Chiuameni. Although we've had no worries in the way of a Watford chance, it does just take one moment. So this second goal could be crucial for us. Luis Diaz now then towards the byline. Pulling it back into my feet. Can't hit the shot. So we'll go back for Fabinho, who finds me once more. Now Beck out to Diaz. Is this the chance for Liverpool? Fabinho, Chiuameni! Yes, there it is. Lovely touch from Chiuameni and the finish is just as good. And Liverpool have their second that surely wraps up the three points here. Now attention turns over to the Etihad. City, what are you doing? Are you able to get this goal to put yourselves in front against Bournemouth? Because if not, you're losing top spot in the Premier League. Okoye is quite unlucky, you know. He nearly gets there, the Watford goalkeeper. And you can see the touch from Chiuameni and then the quick feet to be able to hit the shot as well is class from him. Alexander-Arnold forward to Chiuameni. Chiuameni with the ball back into my feet. Space opens up and that's the goal we were waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. We've hit the post, we've hit the bar here today. But that is our goal that we were looking for. I was a little bit frustrated at the fact I'd hit the bar and the post. I was thinking I wasn't going to get a goal today. But Chiuameni with the ball back inside. We cut it on the left foot and then into the bottom corner. The shot goes. There was a goal pop-up from another game, but it wasn't the City one. It was Leeds. So still not sure what's going on at the Etihad. Four minutes added on by the officials. But as the clock ticks away, Watford will be beaten here. And actually, it might even get worse for them as we pick the pocket of Pollock. Across to Rafinha. Rafinha blocked by Mari. Chiuameni to keep it. There's Alberto. Okoye tips round the post. Nearly gets worse for Watford. But good goalkeeping from Okoye. Corner ball in for Liverpool. We are there with the header towards the back post. Unfortunately, the ball bounces out of play. And that will be that, my friends. As soon as this goal kick happens, that should be full time. Three wins from three. What an episode of results and performances. The question is, what's happened with City? And are we ending today top of the Premier League table? City won by two goals to one. So they were able to find the comeback from a goal to nil down to win the game. So they stay top. 
for the moment. Next for us, though, it's Fiorentina, which will be in the next episode. And you can see our Champions League group finally poised with Fiorentina up next. Then it's Real Madrid and then Michelin on the final group stage game. But for the Premier League, then, before we go, here's how it looks. At the top, still undefeated, 10 games gone. One point adrift of City. West Ham must have dropped points against Chelsea. Either it was a draw or a defeat. It was a draw. It was 1-1. And uh, we have opened a slight gap there. Arsenal have well up into fourth. Chelsea fifth. Spurs sixth. If I scroll down, you can see United not having a good season. Down in tenth. Newcastle as well. Twelfth. Not what you'd expect from them. And uh, you can see the bottom three. Fulham, Burnley and Watford all in the relegation zone at this moment in time. You saw our Carabao Cup draw earlier. But just to remind you, Chelsea in the quarterfinals. The other games going on there as well. We will have a quick look and see when that game against Chelsea will be, actually. So let's have a look. It's not this month. It is in the month of December, which is a jam-packed month indeed. Look at those fixtures. So many games in December. That is crazy. In any case, we'll look forward to that at a later date. One look at how we're getting on as a pro Thank you all so, so much for your incredible support. As I mentioned earlier, there's another like target today in order to get yourselves an episode tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we shall see if we are able to hit that like target. And if you'll get another My Player Career Mode episode tomorrow, there is a where to put skill points for winger video coming out either today or tomorrow as well. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. Until next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Look after each other. And I shall see you again very, very soon. Adios.